hello it's tuesday um <laughs> april the 9th i believe it is it is after 7 30 in the evening and i'm in my room getting ready to iron my clothes for tomorrow i believe i'm going to be wearing these pants my school shirt is laying on the bed over there and i'm trying to figure out what cardigan if any i'm going to wear and Woofy is right here because for some reason he's obsessed with the ironing board or the iron cord. There's something about when I iron that he has to be right there when I'm ironing. So I wasn't going to, well, mentally I was like, I don't think I'm going to vlog at all this week because it's just been really busy. So let's rehash what you've missed. Um, I vlogged on Sunday. And then Monday came, Monday was a minimum day, which means we get out of school at one o'clock instead of 2.30. And it was a minimum day because our grades had to be finalized this week. And when I say Monday was a whirlwind, it just really was. It was a minimum day. And this is how my day went. I woke up, worked out, went to Starbucks unplanned. So I was a little bit late to work. Um, uh it was this is the last six weeks of our school year so the kids needed their new schedules because they get new electives every six weeks um i also had to pass out their eighth grade t-shirt because we were going to be taking the panoramic picture first thing in the morning and i had to get the kids in height order from tallest to shortest then we had to get them outside with all the other eighth graders on campus and put all eighth graders in line from tallest to shortest for the panoramic picture then the panoramic picture had to be taken, which occurred during the time that I would normally have my prep. Technically, I could have left and just like assumed the photographers photographers would handle it. But me being somewhat of a control, control freak, I hate dropping my kids off somewhere and then leaving and just assuming somebody else will handle their behavior. Plus, it's kind of like part of their end of the year activity. So I was just there with Taylor um, making sure that all got done. Um, they took their picture. After that, we did have our prep period and all teachers just had the same prep period, but that was eaten up really quickly because again, we're on a minimum day schedule. And instead of having a 50 minute prep, we have 40 minutes, which seems like it wouldn't be that significant of a difference, but you'd be surprised with how much a teacher can accomplish in 10 minutes. And a lot of that time was spent trying to get some logistical things figured out with the color run. So I didn't get a whole lot done. Then we came back and my classes were back and then they were in the class for about 10 to 15 minutes then i had to take them to the book fair looky loo or a preview then we came back <laughs> and then they took the quiz for the first 20 chapters of the silence that binds us then they had to take their weekend wrap quiz and by the time both of those things were completed the class periods were over with my class and then i had to repeat that then one o'clock came the end of the day then i had rally practice for two hours so from or an hour and a half from 1 to 2 30. then i had about 45 minutes or so before i needed to leave to go to my therapy appointment but then i got back to an email from a parent that is giving this long <laughs> email about being concerned about her child's grades and there were a lot of questions that i had to answer all those questions point by point and that took time. And by the time I finished that email, it was pretty much time for me to pack up because I needed to leave because I had a therapy appointment at four o'clock. So I went to that, got home at about 5.30, walked Woofy, came home, showered, figured out what to wear for the next day, ate some dinner. And by the time I consumed that, it was really just time for me to go to bed because I was <laughs> tired. So nowhere in there did I really have time to pick up the camera. And then today came what did we do um i was so discombobulated last night that i didn't even have a daily slide today and didn't realize that so i was mid-class but today we read some more of the silence that binds us and we read the last little section in chapter 12 of history then i had rally practice after school for two hours we're getting there um then I had to finalize grades. So that was one of the hur hurdles that I mentioned last week that I needed to jump through and I got that done. But I was at school until about six, a little bit after six. 
and then I came home and walked both feet and now here I am ironing my clothes. So the sole reason why I picked up the camera is because tomorrow's open house and I figured that might be something you guys want to see just kind of like what I'm putting out for open house or what a middle school classroom looks like for open house or how I approach open house. So I'll probably share that with you tomorrow after school. Um, and then we're gonna see how the rest of the week goes. <laughs> because then right after that, I'm gonna be focused on the rally and all of that. So I'm really just here to say hi, to get myself started in a vlog. But I'm gonna finish ironing my clothes here, shower and eat. I'm not gonna do any more work, obviously. It's, it seems ridiculous that I would announce that because that should be an obvious fact. But for teachers, it's not really the case um, because it's already 7.25. And I have to iron my clothes, shower, and eat. So I don't have I don't have any mental capacity to do any work. I do need to fix one grade though and change that. And just so you know, I'm still getting locked out of my computer and or email every morning. And we're really trying to figure out why that is because it is getting to the point where I'm going to lose my mind. So that also happened, but that's how the week is going so far. <laughs> Um, I was supposed to wear a dress today and I was going to show you the other things that I got for my birthday, but we'll do that when I have more energy and time. But when I was going to put on this dress this morning and saw the wind was blowing, I had to at the last minute change it. So I ended up in some jeans and a sweatshirt, which looks like this. And I wanted to show you the back of the sweatshirt. I got this from Etsy because a friend of mine, Jill, said her partner got her one and then suddenly I felt the need to have one. It just says cool teacher club on the back. And did I put myself in that club? Did I proclaim myself a cool teacher? I did. But if you don't champion yourself, who will? So uh, there are sure students that don't think I'm cool at all. But I think that I am and that's all that matters. <laughs> so I got this from Etsy. It was like $20. They have hoodies. They have regular sweatshirts. I think they have t-shirts of different colors that you can choose from. I chose the sand color. But anyway. That's all I want to say right now. Let me finish ironing these clothes. I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. Hello. It is, I don't know what time. It's almost five o'clock, <laughs> which means I have to go outside in a few minutes. It's April the 10th. Yeah, it's April the 10th. It's open house for me. I'm filming on my phone. So if I'm looking in a wrong place, it's because it's always awkward for me filming on my phone. You have to kind of look in the opposite direction of what you think. Um, I left my camera in the car, um, but I'm just gonna show you very briefly what my classroom looks like for open house. I have learned, if you're a new, newer teacher out there, or even if you're a veteran teacher and open house always freaks you out. I know it did for me, I think more so when I taught elementary school because I just feel like the expectations are higher. I'm not really sure what it is. And it could be because I wasn't doing what I'm about to describe. So last year I had this grand epiphany where I'm like, we don't really need to be stressing ourselves out right before open house to make these grand projects. Like open house really should just be reflective of samples of work and learning that has happened throughout the year. So what I did last year and I did this year are or is I saved things that I thought I liked the way that turned out, or it's a nice visual, or it's something that a student could easily explain to their parents. And then when open house comes, I just take all those things out and I put them up around the room and have kids kind of display it. So we have um, the Constitution pizzas hanging from the ceiling, and I'll show you all this in a second. I won't be able to get too close because student names are on things. So the Constitution pizzas are hanging from the ceiling. Their Bill of Rights posters are on the wall and i need to find some more of those coming soon signs um along with their ratify the constitution pamphlet and then i have posters hanging up from the born worker activity we did where we did the character analysis one side of the room has one character up the other side has the other one on their desk are little portfolios made out of construction paper they decorated their covers and inside that is their literary analysis essay from the very beginning of the year there are three book reviews from the books we've read so far this year and their final draft of their personal narrative and that's pretty much it and i feel like that's reflective of like work that we've done the kids could explain it and it is what it is so um 
basically just save what you have. Don't feel the need to like reinvent the wheel or create these elaborate projects because you're trying to put on a show. Now, my last elementary open house, we kind of did that, but not really. We were learning fractions. And then at the last minute, I had this epiphany to like change my room into a pizza place and got a little overboard, but that's me. That's me doing that because I wanted to. Um, so yeah that is all we did in the past couple of days like the focus has just been making sure that we have everything finished and put together so let me show you what it looks like and then i gotta head outside to kind of mix and mingle open house for us is from five to seven from five to six it's just like community stuff the principal has a few words there's food trucks out there and then the classrooms open at six um but they would like us to be out there mingling about from five to seven so let me show you what the room looks like so here it is, like I said, I'm not gonna get too close because I don't wanna show student names. So you can see there's work up. Um, and then I reminded the students today, it's really their job to kind of let their parents know, um, let their parents know what they're looking at, explain things, what they liked, what they remember. And then of course I'll have a slideshow playing on the screen right there, but that's really it. And then always on the day of open house, I make the students clean. So I give them the materials they need to wipe their, down their desk, set their desk up, dust, we dust around the room. And typically I have student volunteers do it like we dust and clean because we're having company. And, um, and then I just make sure the room smells nice. <laughs> and that's really it. So <sighs> that's really all I have to say. I don't know if I'll vlog afterwards. I'll probably be pretty tired, but after tonight, we can check one more thing off the list for the week. And then after that, we just focus on the rally, which is going, I think, better than I expected. So I'll talk to you later. Not sure if it's going to be today or tomorrow, but I will talk to you later. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning. I have just picked up my Starbucks. It's it's Thursday it's about 7 10 and um I'm picking up my Starbucks I don't know if I've said this already I don't think I have but I've been at Starbucks every day <laughs> this week um one I really mastered the art of gaining stars in the past week or so and I was like just getting mass amounts of stars so quite a few of my visits involved me getting a free drink but of course, when my drink is free, I feel very compelled to have a breakfast item. So I have been getting a breakfast item and I've really been on the potato chive bites kick. And I know I tasted them once before in a previous vlog and I wasn't that impressed, but recently I've really liked them. It's just like they're a little bit lighter than an egg bite. I don't know how to describe it. Like I want something to eat, but I don't want like the, I don't think rich is the right word. I just don't want the, the weight of an egg bite so i've been getting the potato and chive bites um i got my free iced coffee just now let's taste it um i've had better so we're gonna give that a 6.5 it just doesn't taste like anything um so that sucks but as far as open house last night i think it went well I don't know what it is about open house the next day I just feel very tired like I feel super tired right now and I'm not going to bed any later I think it's just the fact that you're at work and on for a very long period of time even though you have a break in between the end of the school day and the start of open house but I think it went well I got to talk to some parents a few were very nice and sweet and complimentary and told me how much they're uh, child enjoyed my class. Some of them were there. I didn't get a chance to talk to because I was talking to other parents. But we can go ahead and check that off the list. Um, and then I didn't work out this morning because um, I know what I need to do in class today. I just don't have it created. So we're gonna, we wrapped up chapter 11 and 12 in history. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's my little visor thing there we go which means that um they need to take a quiz and i need to combine the quizzes because i combined two chapters and since we've not gotten this far before they're not the study 
the study guides are not made so I need to make them but I don't really have a prep today because I need to meet with the principals about the fifth grade orientation that leadership is in charge of um, and that happens May 8th I think is what it is and so the they wanted me to talk about how they want it to be organized or what information they want to be included. I'm not 100% sure. And then after that, I need to meet with the PTO president for next year because she's a DJ and she's gonna help with playing music for the color run and we need to figure out how to make it so that music can be heard almost the entire half of the color run, I think. So I'm here early to try and get the things that I would have done during my prep done now. So I need to stop talking and get out of the car so I can get that done. It's 7.15. Um, and then, I don't know. I will probably not be talking to you until I get home because I have to go to the DMV today because my driver's license is expired and I've had to be riding around town on an expired license for a couple of weeks because when I went to make my DMV appointment, I couldn't get one made before the expiration date. So I got to go to the DMV today at 320. Yay me. So I will talk to you guys later. Zero, zero, and window number um, I must say we've come a long way at the DMV. I just finished. That whole process took 20 minutes. My appointment was at 320. It's 3.40 right now and I'm done. I did start the process online though. I like filled out the application. I applied for the real ID. So I'm impressed. And they were all in a good mood and they were smiling and they even had artwork around telling us all to smile. So it's definitely a different experience from the last time I've been actually inside the DMV. So I am about to stop at Michael's because I need to get a shirt for ra rally tomorrow. That wasn't a complete sentence. For tom tomorrow's rally. And then I'm going to go home and make my set plans. Um, my plan is when I get home is to maybe show you the things that I got for my birthday because everything has arrived. For the most part, there's a pair of pants that I need to return or that I've already returned for a larger size, but I'll show them to you. And then I'll close out the vlog. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But let me get on the road and I'll see you when I get home. All right, I'm home now. It's 5.38. I have been home for a while. I left the DMV, went to Michael's, got a yellow t-shirt for tomorrow. Tomorrow's rally is video game themed. And everybody's wearing just different solid colors, but like bright colors. And I chose yellow. And then on the way home, I was informed that I needed gas by Blanca, my car. So I stopped at the gas gas station and then I came home and walked Woofy. Then I had to sit on the couch and cool off a little bit because it's pretty warm today. Ate a snack and then I dragged myself upstairs um, to show you what I got for my birthday. So I got a few things. Um, most of this was online ordered for me, by me. Um, I didn't ask for much for my birthday. I think I showed you the lanyard that I got from my my sister. I also got a, another charm for my bracelet for my mom that says family. Um, I haven't added that on yet. I just haven't had the time. And I feel like I'm missing something. Oh. Um, I think that's it. My brother is going to get me something later because, you know, he's a married man. And so he's like, I got you later, sister. So, um, and I also already showed you a couple of things that I bought in the name of my birthday. I'm pretty sure I showed you my sweatshirt that said cool teacher on it. I bought that. The teacher bag that I showed you in the last vlog that was justified by, again, me saying my birthday's coming. Uh, <laughs> I bought a couple pairs of of Sam Edelman tennis shoes. I do recall saying your birthday's coming, get that. But these things I specifically bought on my birthday. So the first thing is what I'm wearing is this dress and I'll just go ahead and show it to you now. This is from Ann Taylor Loft. I wore it today. Um, I'm not really giving you the best modeling of it because I'm hot and God knows I probably should tighten this waist and all that. But it's just a long dress. It was very comfortable. And then I also bought these shoes when I went shopping with my mom. 
so they are made to look like Birkenstocks but they have like detailing on it these are by BCBG generation and they were pretty inexpensive the dress was 40% off because they were having a sale it may even been a little bit more the shoes were 30 something dollars so I bought both of those things who is texting me from this weird number oh and the other thing I bought from Ann Taylor Loft on my birthday online is this green shirt. Again, anytime I see something that is green, that I, it looks like I can wear it to work, I will buy it. I haven't worn this yet, um, but I liked it because it was a little bit different. And I also bought a pair of wide leg jeans. Those I sent back because they fit, but they fit a little too well. I don't want to be walking around a middle school campus with jeans that I feel like could be a little bit looser. So I exchanging them for a larger size. They're wide leg. They were really cute when I tried them on. So hopefully me sizing up doesn't change the way that they look. And that's all I did at Ann Taylor Loft, which for me is pretty, pretty conservative. Like I wasn't in this big spending mood, but I definitely wanted to treat myself to something. Um, in addition to that, I had a birthday gift card at DSW and gift card is me putting it it makes it sound like I had more. It was like a $5 coupon that they send you for your birthday. I ended up getting two pairs of shoes because it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I got these black slides that have these little studs on the side. These are from someone called Kelsey Dagger. I had never heard of her before, but I was like, I don't have any black slides in this style. So I got them and I was debating on wearing these shoes with this dress this morning, but I'm glad I went with the shoes that I did because it looks better in my humble opinion. And then the second pair that I got for 50% off is from the same brand and it's a pair of slides in this color. Again, I don't have any slides in this color, so I got them. I've tried both of these on and they're pretty comfortable. I don't even know what I would wear with these yet, but I just feel like it's just a good color of shoe to have. And as a teacher, you really can't have too many flat shoes that are still cute. Um, so that is what I purchased. I also bought myself two necklaces from this company called Mint and Lily. They were also having a buy one get one 50% off. So the first thing that I bought, is this is backwards, yeah, is this gold chain or gold necklace, I should say, um, that has an airy symbol on it. So I'm gonna have to flip it around so you can see it. Um, looks like that. I have not had a chance to wear it yet because I just haven't made the time to put it on in the morning yet. And then the other one that I bought I don't want this to get tangled, so let me take my time and get this in the box. I really need to replenish my B12 supplements because I am so sleepy right now. Uh, this other one I bought, this one's actually longer than what I thought, but let's see. <laughs> From the same company, Mitt and Lily. I'm trying to get this big old black piece out of the way looks like this it has a heart on it like a mother of pearl heart and then it has my initial on it i'd like to wear this on a regular basis just to remind myself to love myself um because i think that's an important reminder and sometimes i lose sight of that and i don't speak like i've said i am really critical of myself at times and i think i'm more critical of myself than i am appreciative of myself and that's not to say that I'm a perfect person but I think I'm a pretty good person but I tend to only focus on the things that I want to be better about or the things that I think I should be doing when I'm talking to myself when I have those internal thoughts so that's just kind of like a visual to be like you need to love yourself um a little bit more and then the last thing I got was this little crossbody bag. I got this at Macy's when I took the day off with my mom. I do have a fanny pack that I wore for Mimi Day when I, sh when I was dressed as The Rock. I wear that fanny pack every day to walk woofy. Like I just put it on me myself sideways. I put my phone and my keys in it, but there's not a lot of space in it. Like you, I, I can't put my keys and phone in there at the same time really. It's a tight squeeze. So I got this one because it was bigger. And I do like the idea of having something like this when you're running errands or like, let's say, 
I go to Disneyland with my niece. I don't want to be carrying a big purse, but I need like chapstick, sunglasses, um, my wallet. And I have this little Lululemon crossbody thing that I got last year, but I don't want to carry it anymore. And I don't want to get anything else from them because the founder of Lululemon made some statements back in the day. But still, I'm like... I don't like the fact that this country was founded, or not country, that that company was founded with someone making very, like, discriminatory statements. So I'm really trying not to carry that bag ever or buy anything for Lulu, from Lululemon, which is not an issue because I've always thought they were overpriced prior to me finding out about what he said. It was something along the lines of he didn't want non-white women to wear his stuff. He wasn't looking to make a brand of clothing that women of color would wear. And he was very like direct about that. And uh, you know, as a woman of color, I took offense because it's like, why not? And that was years ago. I don't think he's running the company anymore, but still it put a bad taste in my mouth. So that's why I got that crossbody. And I think that's it. I'm going to take a shower right now. I'm so surprised that I even was able to turn this camera on because I'm telling you I'm so sleepy. I need to replenish my vitamin supplements that I ran out of. But I'm going to take a shower, get comfortable because I do need to make sub plans for tomorrow. And um, that's it. So I'm not going to close the vlog here because I know good and well I'm not going to edit this. Um, so I'll probably include some footage from tomorrow and then close it out. And again, you'll see this at some point over the weekend and it'll be several days so i will just go ahead and say i will see you guys tomorrow more than likely after the school after school when the rally is said and done and i can breathe just a tiny sigh of relief before i start worrying about the color run the next week good morning it's friday it's rally day it's april the 12th it's just before 7 30 and I'm feeling like today's rally is going to be a success. I'm just going to put that out there because I did my workout this morning, which was difficult. It was 45 minute class on the bike with Robin. If you have a Peloton or you're thinking about getting the Peloton bike or you haven't taken a class yet, like there's this whole rumor, I guess, in the Peloton community that anytime you take a class and Robin is wearing anything yellow that the class is just excessively challenging and at first I was like I just just think that's a thing I think it started out as just a thing and then she made it true so I loaded the class this morning didn't really think too much about it my priority is always looking at what's on the playlist because that will determine if I'm going to take the class or not and didn't really pay attention to the fact that she was wearing a yellow audio pack like the little belt that they keep their microphone in and even if I had paid attention to it, I wouldn't have thought that just wearing a yellow fanny pack is enough to indicate that the class is going to be hard. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't have thought that. And I was wrong. It was very difficult. She was on one. And so the class was challenging. Um, but that's not why I think the, the rally is going to be a success. I did my workout and then I went and picked up my Starbucks right after, which is what I normally do on Fridays. I just take a shorter workout class and go get the Starbucks because... Starbucks are always extra busy on Fridays because a lot of people go there as a Friday treat. Um, and my my Starbucks is a 10 out of 10. I, I can't do the taste test with you guys right now because I already tasted it. But when I walked in there to pick it up, I saw the complexion and she was the right complexion. Like there's a certain complexion that when I see it, I'm like, oh, this is, this is going to be good. And it typically never fails. So I saw the complexion and I was like, okay, this is a good sign. Uh, but just to be safe, I tested it and it's a 10 out of 10. Let me, the complexion is this. When she's very fair skinned like that, then I know it's going to be good. And it is, it's just really, really good. So I'm going to take that as a sign that everything is going to go smooth with the rally. It's going to be a success. We're not going to have any technical issues. The snake game that the kids are kind of nervous about is going to be fine. And that's where I'm at. So I don't think I've ever said the theme of this rally is video game themed. 
Um, and I don't know if I said the last one. The last one was outer space theme. And again, the kids pick their own themes. They get in groups. They create rally pitches where they have to develop a theme and a storyline and a sample music set to go with it. And then they present it to the rest of the leadership class. And then the class votes. They are not allowed to vote for their own pitch. Um, and then that determines what the rally theme is going to be. And they never pick the one that I would want. <laughs> like The class never picks the one that I would want. Um, but it always works out. So that is the theme. I'm wearing my yellow shirt that I got from Michael's yesterday. And I get a full days of full day of sub coverage when it's a rally day because we practice for the entire day we practice and set up for the entire day the first rally I want to say starts at 12:50, and the next one um, occurs right after it so we're practicing from 8 10 until 12 50 to make sure that we're ready they do get a very timed lunch break um, and then the rally happens so uh, that's the plan for the day. I have my little rally fanny pack on. And it's the little fanny pack that I showed you guys yesterday. And maybe I'll show you what I keep in my fanny pack in case any of you are out there and you do rallies. These are just things that I feel like I need to have on my physical person during a rally because I'm not in my room. I'm not around my things. Um, so I don't even bring my bag, my teacher bag. I have my purse just because it has my license in it, but my purse doesn't even come out of my car. So, I'm really just here to say good morning. Uh, I know I, I won't be able to do much throughout the day. I will try and get some footage, but again, I get really wrapped up in the preparing of it all. So, I don't know, but good morning, happy Friday. And this whole vlog is pretty much being filmed on my phone. So, hopefully, to turn, hopefully it turns out okay. But I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> it's rally day. Working hard. Um, we're working hard, especially that kid back there. Mm -hmm. Do you guys see how hard that kid is working? Um, Overtime. Hold on, Miss Robinson's vlogging. <laughs> Zuri, help her. Is that enough string? Is that what you're asking? No, we have a lot of balloons. Yeah. Keep cutting. Um, <laughs> Uh, Miss Lawrence is here with yearbook, so she's helping me out because their yearbook is done and finished. How many yearbooks do you have left to so? sell? Less than 60. Less than 60. I need to buy one still. Um, it's just a bunch of kids right now blowing up balloons and tying them. <laughs> it's mass chaos. It's chaos, but it's organized. Um, and so I just want to say it's so far so good. I told them the rally was going to be good today because I went to Starbucks and my drink was a 10 out of 10. The color was right. It, the complexion was <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Yep. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Happy rally day. Hello. I'm home. It's almost 7 o'clock. And I'm just here to close the vlog. Now, was my prediction about the rally correct? I predicted that it was going to be a success because my Starbucks this morning was a 10 out of 10 and I was just basing everything on that. And I can say that it was a success. Uh, thanks to my Starbucks for its accurate prediction. Um, we had two rallies as always. It was video game themed, I told you guys that this morning. The only thing that was different is that we had two different sets of MCs. Normally we have the same two MCs for both rallies, but there was another pair of girls that tried out to be MCs and they were pretty good and they really wanted a chance to do it. So the um, MCs that I've had for the, pre the previous rallies did the first rally, which is for sixth graders and half of the seventh grade classes. And then the second rally, the newer MCs did that one, which is the other half of the seventh grade classes and eighth graders. And it went well. Um, I had a critical eye just because I think I'm the teacher in charge of it. There was one game that we played. I don't remember if I mentioned it, but it's called Snake. And they had to stay connected by hand and then like scooch backwards and it's hard to explain but this was a game that kids are really the leadership kids are really nervous about because they didn't think anybody would play it <laughs> it's a little awkward in terms of how you have to get through it and so I made the executive decision that that we were just going to play the game because we won't know until we try like we kind of have to see if kids would be willing to do it for future reference in years to come and if 
they try and they like it great if they don't and they won't then we'll know that because it was the same thing with the last rally where we played this pool noodle game and they didn't think anybody would want to do it but i thought it was the game that kids enjoyed the most so i think i'm about 50 50 on the snake game like the kids were having fun um but because of what they have to do one principal said well maybe you should have teams of boys versus teams of girls which i get why he's saying that but also i don't know if that necessarily would make it any more um <laughs> palatable to the kids that wouldn't play we had kids play both rallies there was only one team we always had play the games in four teams for the four different houses there was only one house which was al turismo in the second rally that no one would volunteer and so we just pulled some kids from the dance crew and they did it so that happened and then the volume of the MCs in the second rally needed to be a little bit louder. Um, and there were just some continuity moments where I'm like, they need to be a little bit quicker in transitions. Um, but aside from that, it was good. The feedback that I've gotten from teachers that had anything to say, admin, they all thought it was really, really great. Um, one of the sixth grade teachers said one of the long-term subs they have were like, were was really impressed, excuse me, and said like, wow, this is like high school level production. And that made me happy because that's the goal is to get it as close to that as possible. Um, we've added video elements this year. So the story is being told through the scripting, but there's always video segments that kind of move the story along. The students film the video they edit it and um, the student that edits them does a really good job and so a couple of teachers thought our tech person like the tech uh, not the tech teacher we have like a tech guy that's in the front office that is in charge of any technical issues we have on campus with computers or Chromebooks a couple of teachers thought he edited edited the videos and I was like no the students are doing it so a part of me is like really nervous for next year because I hope there's gonna be someone on um, or in next year's leadership group that is as skilled as she is. So yeah, I've only gotten positive feedback. That is our last rally of the year. Um, next week is the color run and then the fifth grade orientation is after that, but we don't have rallies per se. So um, before I close the blog, I'm gonna show you the very last thing that I got for my birthday. This is something just cutesy it's nothing extravagant Taylor had some of these and I just saw her with it one day and I'm like I need that for myself and I had pencils or pens like this before and I lost it and this is another hmm. this is another Etsy purchase and it's another one of those things that I just bought and I feel like it's just gonna make <laughs> tasks that are annoying easier just because it's cute so I just bought if I can get it out oh my god two of these personalized little pens that say is it yeah say Miss Robinson on it there you go um and they write in blue ink I'm hoping that I like the writing of it um but yeah I bought two of these just to make myself feel better when I'm writing notes or grading papers or writing notes from a staff meeting that somehow these pens will make things a little bit easier for me. So that's it. And then my new jeans, let me see if I can get them. Hold on a second. So these are the replacement jeans for Antigua Law, I believe. Um, I'll just cut it open. Came. I'm going to show them to you. And then I'm going to take a shower and go get food. The one thing about today is I did not even get time. I can't even find my scissors. I did not get any time to eat at all so i haven't had a meal aside from the potato and chai bites that i bought this morning from starbucks um i did get a donut that i shouldn't have had but i had it and i had a snack and that was really it so i haven't had a proper meal so i'm gonna take a shower and get some food and then relax state testing starts next week and i need to get my life together for that and make sure i know what i'm doing 
but they look like this. They are wide legged jeans and they tie here at the front. So we're gonna see how these fit and um, that's it. So if you enjoyed this vlog, I couldn't say today's vlog, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up because that's pretty much all I have to say for right now. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you do subscribe. And if you'd like to leave a comment, as always, please feel free to do so. And as always, I hope that you guys are well. And if you're not well, please be well. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.